One of our key goals at the Pew Research Center is to understand the role of religion in American public life. And that means in addition to understanding the views of the largest religious groups in the population, we also need to be able to understand the views and the experiences of smaller religious groups as well, including Muslims. The U.S. public just doesn't know very much about Muslims. Uh, it turns out only about half of the U.S. public says they know a Muslim personally. And of those that do, they only know a handful. And so understanding the complexity and the diversity within the U.S. Muslim community is hard. It's a very complicated, complex story. I mean, for most Muslims, by and large, right, they're very proud to be American. They see themselves as part of the, their society. And on average, they're doing well. Yet the perception of discrimination and the experience of discrimination are both on the rise. And the worry is that will begin to hold the Muslim American community back. Muslims in the United States are a fairly small group. They account for about 1% of the overall U.S. population. Uh, but they're a very important group, and they're a, they're a group that's growing quite rapidly. So what we wanted to do with this survey was to really to be able to uh, paint a full portrait of Muslims in the United States today. Most Muslims tell us that they are happy, that they're satisfied with the way things are going in their own lives. And most Muslims tell us that they believe in the American dream, that people who work hard can get ahead in the United States um, if they so choose. Muslims are actually more likely than the public overall to believe that if you work hard in this country, you can get ahead. So our conditions uh, forced us to come to the United States, uh, but we chose to be United States citizens because of the American dream, the American principles, and the American values. Um, we knew that America is not perfect, uh, but we saw the potentials in it, and so we decided to take the oath and become United States citizens. The opportunities are there. It's going to be hard, and of course it's going to be harder for some to obtain that dream than others. It's the land of the free because of those who were brave enough to fight for that freedom in our country. And I consider this is my country too. It's not my mother country, but there is a saying, your country is not where your grandfather is buried. Your country is where your grandchildren are being raised. The American dream applies to anyone from any religion, in my opinion. But for me, particularly, as a Muslim, this is the push behind all the obstacles that I faced that if you study, if you work hard in this country, you will make it. You will be somebody. My family wasn't a very rich family. We didn't have private education. We went through the public school systems uh, and, the and the state colleges and whatnot. And uh, I had to pay my way through college, through working on the summers and paying for you know, the school. And so that, to me, is the American dream. Um, a lot of you know, immigrants, especially, who came from impoverished you know, countries and places where they didn't have that opportunity came to the United States to get that. The American experience has been for the vast majority of Muslims an experience that has been empower empowering, it's been economically empowering, it's been politically empowering, it's been socially empowering. So there's a lot of pride. Almost all Muslims in the United States tell us that they are proud to be Muslim. Uh, and almost as many, upwards of 9 in 10 Muslims in the United States, tell us that they are proud to be American. And I think those findings are very significant because they tell us that this is not an either-or question. Muslims in the United States tell us that this is a both-and question. It's possible to be proud of being Muslim and possible to be proud of being an American. Time will be a real winter while trial. I'm grateful that I was born in this country at this time in history with everything around me that there is and with the people and with humanity being where it is now. I look at the world, it's like, hmm, well, if I couldn't live here, where's the next place I'd go? I don't really know. People really didn't know much about Muslims when I was growing up, so it was kind of like an exotic thing. Every year in school, the teacher would always stop and look up when they came to my name, and I knew it was me because there was no one else <laughs> whose name they couldn't pronounce. As I grew up and being more American than my parents, and I think my kids are probably more, <laughs> um, you know, it, it shifted the way I thought about my identity and, and being American versus being Muslim. And I think I'm much more comfortable in saying that I'm both.
You're either too Muslim for the Americans or too American for the Muslims. So it's been very, um, it's been very interesting trying to balance those two. As I've aged, I've realized that I can be both and I don't really need to compromise either or. Um, and that is picking the goods of both and being the goods of both and then trying to embody that into being American Muslim. Being an American is the dream come true for me and for my children and my family that I was able to raise them in this country free. Muslims in the United States in our survey come from at least 75 countries all around the world. Um, in total, about six in 10 Muslims in the United States are immigrants. They were born elsewhere. Uh, another one in five or so are second generation, which is to say they are the children of immigrants. And the remaining quarter or so of Muslims in the United States come from families who have been in the United States for three generations or longer. Every single race is represented by Muslims in this country, from Latinos to African Americans to whites. You see great diversity. It's not the case that all Muslims in the U.S say religion is very important in their lives. They're about as likely as U.S. Christians to say that. Um, it's also the case that most Muslims believe that there's more than one true way to interpret the teachings of Islam. I pray five times a day. I wake up for early as, as sunrise to get the, that first prayer in, and I pray at the, at the end of the night. Um, I consider myself a pretty devoted Muslim. Being a devout Muslim makes me a, just a better human altogether. I don't go to the mosque, I don't pray five times a day um, the way that Muslims are expected to or portrayed as praying. Um, I, I celebrate Eid, I don't fast during Ramadan, although I'll go to the dinners with my family because that's always fun. Um, I just don't believe that's what makes me a good Muslim. Um, it doesn't fit in with my schedule and how I practice spiritually. So I would say I'm much more spiritual than religious. I really love religious context and historical understandings of religion, but I'm definitely a more spiritual person. For me to be a Muslim, it means how have I surrendered to peace? And to me, the way you find peace is when you serve. Serving is not just um, praying and fasting. Uh, to me, it's taking care of my neighbors. I think essential to being a Muslim is the belief in God and um, the relationship that you have with God. Being a Muslim is to practice your religion as it is given by God to our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and to all the prophets. Being peaceful, being loving, believe in one God, believe in goodness to the world, to the animals, to the environment, to people. American Muslims, they enjoying religious freedom more than anywhere else, including every Muslim country. There was no hesitation. I will say that. There was no hesitation. They enjoyed the religious freedom and freedom of speech and so forth and so on. That's why we are determined to fight this fight with our fellow American to, pro to protect this country, to fight for the constitutions, and to make sure that America uphold the values that was founded on. Muslims in the United States tell us that they think discrimination is quite prevalent. In fact, about half of all the Muslims we interviewed uh, tell us that within the past 12 months, they have personally experienced some form of discrimination, such as having been treated with suspicion, having been singled out by law enforcement, having been called offensive names, or even having been physically threatened or attacked. Muslim women are a bit more likely than Muslim men to say that they've personally experienced discrimination. We also see more broadly that Muslims, whether men or women, who say that they're identifiable visibly as Muslim, are more likely to say that they've experienced discrimination. There was a gentleman, an elderly gentleman, wearing a hat, and he walked by me. He's running down, and I'm actually running up with my stroller. And he says um, inappropriate comments, um, such as go back to where you come from. And then I, I thought I maybe misread his comment. Then the second time comes around and says terrorists. Um, you know. And then he comes around, and he just stops me. He was like, why the hell are you wearing that thing? Take it off. You're in, you're in America. I don't want to see that. And I was thrown off by that. I actually didn't even expect that. <laughs> I personally haven't experienced any because I'm Muslim. Now, I can't speak for some of the women, you know, because they're obviously Muslim. There's a million reasons why something happens or doesn't happen, but you feel like 
always second guessing yourself, is that because I'm Muslim? There's definitely concern on the part of Muslim Americans that they are not necessarily seen in the best light by other Americans. In fact, six in 10 Muslims tell us that they think the American people as a whole do not see Islam as part of mainstream American society. Muslims also express concern about the way Islam and Muslims in the United States are covered by the media. When they turn on the news and they hear Muslim, they see a guy from Somalia or Ethiopia or Pakistan or, or an Arab country. Like, all Muslims come from outside of America. Did you know that there were Muslims present during the American Revolution? We've always been here. Some people take it to heart to hate. It hurts me. It bothers me a lot for people who don't know the real Islam. They take Islam from what the TV presents to them. The media continues to be a sore point for the Muslim American community. It is hard to find a portrayal of a Muslim who is an ordinary Muslim with ordinary concerns, with an ordinary family. The violent extremist group have not helped Muslims in America. They have painted a picture that is not good. And Muslims in America find themselves, try to prove themselves. This, this is not us. This is not what represent us. About 8 in 10 U.S. Muslims tell us they are concerned about extremism in the name of Islam around the world today. And almost as many tell us that they are concerned about extremism in the name of Islam here in the United States. Overall, Muslims share the larger public's concerns about extremism in the name of Islam. If anything, Muslims are actually more concerned about extremism in the name of Islam. The fear for Muslims is that we are people who follow a faith that asks us, asks us to kill people and hurt others, which is not the case, but that's what people believe. With the political climate that we're in today, certain people in certain positions play on that fear and play on that ignorance. One of the things we see in this survey very clearly is that Muslims have a lot of concern about President Trump. Most Muslims in the United States say that President Trump makes them feel worried. Many Muslims in the United States say that President Trump makes them feel angry. Uh, most Muslims in the United States say that they think Donald Trump is unfriendly toward Muslim Americans. This is a pretty significant reversal from when we asked this question in the past about President Obama. Um, most Muslims felt President Obama was friendly toward Islam and Muslims. 13 percent of Muslim Americans tell us that they identify with or lean toward the GOP. Only 8 percent of Muslims tell us that they voted for Donald Trump in the, in the 2016 election. That's not a new thing. In fact, um, Donald Trump's low approval rating among Muslims in the United States is not really any lower than George W. Bush's approval rating was among Muslims when we first did a survey like this back in 2007. The administration and the politics of today have really pushed a lot of us to accept and be open with who we are. Um, although it's very scary to be openly Muslim, openly an immigrant, all of the above in this day and age. So I feel like I've had to say out loud, I'm Muslim, I'm also American, I'm both, because we shatter those stereotypes. What happened um, is the administration made the invisible visible. The invisible social imperfections in our society became so visible that no one can really deny that sexism is happening, that racism is happening, that Islamophobia is happening because, you know, we have a chief in office who's actually promoting it. About half of Muslims in the United States tell us that it has become more difficult to be Muslim American in recent years. It's something like four in ten Muslims in the United States tell us that life hasn't necessarily become any more difficult for Muslims in the United States in recent years. Hasn't necessarily gotten easier, but at the same time it hasn't gotten harder either. I was maybe five when I was, when 9-11 happened, so the challenge of being Muslim in America has been my entire life. Sometimes I get a sick feeling in my gut, sometimes there's a sense of anxiety, and there's, a, there's an urge to want to point the finger and say it's crazy and stupid and they're wrong and na 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 and then uh, I realized that, as is the case in most things, this is temporary. Muslims clearly tell us that they face a variety of challenges in American society today. 
But that's not the whole story. It's also worth pointing out that about half of Muslims say that the American people as a whole are generally friendly toward Muslims. And we also see that many Muslims, about half of all Muslims in the United States, tell us that they've had someone reach out and express support for them in recent months because they're Muslim. I remember putting on Facebook just to say, I can't believe it. I had this incident in a public park here in the heart of Nashville, a very diverse community, and phone calls, flowers, people sending gifts. Um, it was just overwhelming. I was like, it is not right of me then to be really just focused on this one negative reaction and look at how many positive um, interactions I just received because of that unfortunate incident. Um, and I think that's what makes me love America. It's like this balance between like the things that are happening in the media every day and the tweets that we read about and the media stories that come out versus people really going out in the streets and advocating for change and, and trying to make a difference. Um, people who are willing to speak out and stand up for uh, what's right and for um, for supporting Muslims. There, there's some people who represent the best of America. We see them every day. And there's some people who like to bring the worst of themselves, not the best of America. Uh, and always I'm optimistic. This group that represent tolerance, understanding, uh, you know, uh, in, 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 in being inclusive, and so they will prevail. I think one of the things that was most striking in this survey is the concern that Muslims express about their place in American society, coupled with a persistent streak of optimism at the same time. Seeing more representation in the media in normal ways of, of brown women, of women, of Muslims, all of that gives me hope that we're going to overcome. There's a lot more that kids are learning about how to deal with and interact with the world and the language to use to describe situations and that we didn't have growing up, I think, um, to talk about those situations of feeling othered or marginalized. You're raising a whole new generation of people who are um, seeing protest and what protest can look like. That wouldn't happen in other places in other countries. And the fact that we're able to do that, I think, is uniquely American and, and is really should be celebrated. This country is a great country. It's built on the shoulders and the effort of those immigrants who for hundreds of years came to this country and made it the way it is right now. And it's not going to stop. So Islam as a religion will flourish, will be will be okay. Even though it's rough right now, we may not like it, um, we're moving to someplace better. That's my honest belief.